Okay, so if you clicked on this video, you're obviously thinking about the real estate market and what it's gonna do. You're worried it's gonna crash. Um, you're a buyer, you're hoping maybe it does crash so you can buy cheaper. If you're a seller, you're not sure if you should sell because you know the top of the market right now, but if you wait, then you're gonna lose value on being able to sell your house. And all I can say is just stop it, okay? Stop worrying so much about the market. Um, I know there's a lot of uncertainty out there right now, right? Today's May 5th, the stock market is down 500 points today. Uh, inflation has skyrocketed this year. Um, the Fed just raised the interest rates by half a percent, which is the highest increase that they've done in 20 years. So yeah, there's definitely some uncertainty out there. But here's the thing, especially when it comes to buying a house or selling a house, anything real estate related, right? And, and I tell this to everyone that always asks me, Eric, when's the crash coming? Oh my God, I don't know what to do. Are we at the bubble? Um, here's the thing. You buy a house when it best fits your situation. And that could be a number of things, right? Like based on location, obviously if you're moving out of town or moving from one place to another, yeah, you gotta sell or find a new place, right? You're just stuck with the market that we're currently in. If you're a buyer, you buy based on your budget, right? So you want to obviously buy low if you can, um, but you know, what does that really mean? And how can you really figure that out? I mean, if you would have bought in 2020, I mean, you would have had a, a huge increase in the value of your home. Uh, and so people didn't want to buy then because they were afraid, oh, the, you know, the, the crash is coming, you know, COVID hit and the stock market went down and oh my God, I'm not gonna buy a house now because it's gonna crash. And I've had people, I've had an uh, uh, old coworker of mine who actually sold their house, just who lives right up the street from me, they sold because they were worried about COVID and they didn't want the market to crash. Well, here we are two years later and she missed out on at least $200,000 in value in that house alone. So, you know, you have to buy a house based on when it's best for you, based on your budget, based on the needs of your family or you individually. And if you can afford the house, you like the house, you wanna live in that house, then you should buy the house. Um, if you're gonna wait for a crash, then you're gonna wait forever. I mean, think about this. In 2008, when the market crashed last time, the market continued to go down for five years. So if, if the housing prices drop because the, all the uncertainties in the market right now, if the housing prices drop this week 10%, right? And we think, okay, here it is, the, the crash is coming. Uh, are you gonna buy right then? Or you're gonna probably think, well, maybe I should wait because um, it's gonna keep going down and then I'm not gonna buy until the bottom. Well, if you would have done that in 2008, you've waited five years and I don't know about you, but if you're really in the market to buy or sell, like five years is a long time. And you shouldn't be looking at buying a house um, in terms of, you know, what's it gonna do six months from now? What's it gonna do one year from now, two years from now? I mean, if you're buying a house, this is, you know, a long-term investment and you should think about that. So stop trying to worry about what the headlines are saying. I mean, if you go on YouTube right now and you, you type in, housing crash, housing bubble, housing recession. There's thousands and thousands of videos of people over the last two years who have been saying the same exact thing. But here's the deal. If you would have bought two years ago, you would have been in, in, a, in an awesome place. If you buy right now, can the housing go down? Absolutely, absolutely. But you don't buy a house to, you know, to determine what it's gonna do six months from now, and you don't make that decision based off of that. So here's the thing, calm down, stop looking at the headlines, stop looking and trying to read the market one way or the other. And if you have a house that you wanna buy, and you can afford it, buy it. If you wanna sell, you should sell when it's best convenient for you. You know, look at um, a lot of these real estate investors, I mean, they don't look at the market at all. The real estate investor looks at numbers. Can I buy this house for this price and can I either flip it and sell it for this price or can I um, rent it out for this price? Can I make money off this investment? That's what they look at. You know, I'm, I'm still gonna buy a house today if I had the money um, 
and I found a house that I you know, wanted to get into, I would buy it today. I don't really care too much about what the market might do six months from now or whatever. If the numbers work, I'm buying it. So that's my advice. You know, Again, I don't know what's gonna happen, but even if things start going down a little bit, and I don't think that they're going to just be based on inventory in itself, okay? But if, if the housing were to go down 10% today, this week, I would still wanna buy. If it went up another 10% this week, I would still wanna buy um, just because that's what I wanna do and, and I look at these things as long-term investments. So, you know, number one thing to do is if you're serious about buying or selling, um, but particularly buying is contact a lender, contact a local lender, talk to them about what your budget is, about what you can afford, um, talk to them about you know the effects of the uh, interest rate increases and then so you actually know what you can afford because that's gonna be the biggest determination on whether you buy or sell is what can I afford and is the property that I want within my budget and if it is buy it okay so hopefully this helps hopefully this gets you to kind of think differently and not get all up in a, a panic because of what the stock market might be doing today or tomorrow or what the headlines are on the news um, just got to really think about what you'd want to get into. Is it, does it fit you, your budget and your lifestyle? And then if so, go for it. Take the chance, buy the house. You'll be happy that you did. People that, you know, clients of mine that bought last year and were kind of worried because of the market, the way it was going, are so thankful that they did based off today's values. So, you know, it's always going to go up and down, but over the long haul, these are long-term investments. They've, you know, been a great investment over the long term. So think of it that way and uh, hopefully this helps. So if you have any questions, any concerns, feel free to give me a call, send me an email. We can even just talk about it. So take care guys. Hope this helps. See you later.